What's up guys, this is Burt Music, and today I'm gonna be reacting to the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War official teaser trailer. <gasps> Dude, I am so ready. I have not seen this trailer yet. I saw Charlie Intel tweeting about it. He had tweeted saying, Breaking Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War confirmed. We have this picture right here. As you can see, it's being developed by Treyarch and Raven, and it's gonna be rated M. Oh my god, dude, I I'm so excited. He said, Teaser trailer, know your history. It's an unlisted video on the Call of Duty channel. Okay, this is where we need to actually watch it. He said, The world reveal for the game is in Verdansk on August 26th. So we're gonna be seeing the full reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War on August 26th. Guys, I am so excited. I haven't even seen the teaser trailer yet, and I'm really excited. I think that's it for his tweets. Let's go check out the trailer. All right, here we go. At the height of the Cold War, KGB defector Yuri Bezmenov issues a chilling warning. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war, and you have precious little time to save yourself. He claims a Soviet spy codename Perseus has infiltrated? Oh, Perseus. His goal, subvert the U.S. to ensure Soviet dominance in the arms race. To this day, the identity and whereabouts of Perseus remain unknown. Oh my god. It's a slow process, which we call active measures. The first stage being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. The next stage is destabilization. What matters is essentials. Economy foreign relations, defense systems. The next stage is crisis with a violent change of power, structure, and economy, period of normalization. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all these schmucks to put a big brother government in Washington, D.C. We will promise lots of things, never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not. Inspired by actual events, okay. Know your history, oh my god. I'll be doomed to repeat it. The time bomb is ticking. But every second, the disaster is coming closer and closer. The danger is real. Oh my god, dude. Whew. So there you go. We finally have an official Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War teaser trailer. I mean, it's pretty good. Obviously, this doesn't give us a chance to actually see the game yet. We're gonna have to wait until next week to actually see that. But they're finally giving us something to actually be hyped about. You know, they had all of these little teasers going on in Warzone. And again, I mean, at the end here, it says the worldwide reveal is in August 26th, and they were saying it's in Verdansk. So I think that's potentially when the live event is actually gonna happen. <laughs> Someone said literally everything Yuri is talking about is happening 100% to a T right now. Yeah, it says it right here in the description. Know your history or be doomed to repeat it. Verdansk, August 26th. All right, I think we know what we're doing that day then. <laughs> I am so ready. I wonder if there's a Black Ops Cold War subreddit. There is. Oh my God, that was fast. The screen we were all waiting for. Absolutely, man. So even though this Know Your History teaser trailer happened, I have not really been keeping up with the actual like Warzone Easter eggs. I want to try to do the last one because apparently there's a nuke in the bunker that you can get access to or like a room or something. I don't know. I haven't been in it. Okay, so it's in Warzone F8 and then there's the code. All right, let's give it a try. All right, we're going to do some plunder. Let's see if we can get into the room. Okay, where is F8? Is it the park section? Also, don't worry about the class I'm going to use while I'm playing this. There's nothing broken about it whatsoever. I'm totally not going to cover that in video. You're gonna get so annihilated, dude. <laughs> I can't wait to show this thing to you guys more, but I'm saving it for a different video. All right, so this is the general area we're gonna try to go to. I think the bunker or something is maybe over here. Maybe on the other side? I don't know. We'll find it, though. All right, we're dropping, dropping, and glopping like a glopping booping. I'm pretty sure where we need to go is just right down here, though. Yep, yep. All right, we're in, we're in. Let's open this thing up. I got the code. Six, oh, two, seven, four, five, one, three. All right, we're in. That was easy. <laughs> this is gonna be a cool one. There's actually a lot of really good stuff down here along with the nuke itself. I don't really care that much about the loot. I just want to see the nuke. It's in here though. There it is. There's the nuke. We have a giant Russian nuke in this room. I mean, it's crazy. It's my guess and I'm pretty sure it's everyone else's guess as well, but I kind of feel like the live event that's gonna happen on the 26th is going to be a nuke that goes off in Verdansk. I mean, if it's not that, what else is it going to be? This has all been pointing towards a nuke going off in Warzone. Even though the Warzone teasers were kind of tedious and didn't really give us too much, it's definitely starting to lead up to something pretty big. Now, this is just my opinion, but after 
after Black Ops 4, I'm really hoping that Treyarch can redeem themselves with Black Ops Cold War. I really do want this game to be the best that it can be because, you know, coming off of Modern Warfare, it has just been such a great year. I know the game's kind of had its ups and downs, but by and large, Modern Warfare is a huge step in the right direction for Call of Duty. And I'm really hoping that Black Ops Cold War can live up to the hype. I think a big part of how this is all going to play out is whatever we end up seeing on the 26th. Because I've already said this so many times, you know, after Modern Warfare, our expectations are a lot higher. We have Ground War, we have Warzone, we have, you know, gunfight and stuff. Alongside all the other regular modes, you know, there's so much content, so much variety. And we really have to hope that Black Ops Cold War doesn't take a step back and just have way less content. There are quite a number of things I have on my Black Ops Cold War wish list that I hope that Treyarch and Raven can pull off. I'm talking about bringing theater mode back, having a field of view slider on console, potentially having custom mods, pulling back on the amount of skill-based matchmaking in regular multiplayer. Even though I have a lot of good things to say about Modern Warfare, it's not a perfect game. We know Modern Warfare is not a perfect game. I mean, right now I'm using a broken shotgun attachment. Although granted, it's temporary. I mean, it's not like a typical game feature. But yeah, at its core, I just hope that Black Ops Cold War is a good game. Keep raising the bar, keep up the variety of the content, and for the love of Vonderhaar, please don't make it a camper-friendly game. It's the one thing that I still despise about Modern Warfare is just the fact that camping is so prevalent. I feel like over time it's gotten toned back in some ways, but people still just love to camp. And even though that allows me to use certain memes like, wow, camp in the middle, and in the corner, what a surprise. As much as I love using those memes, I don't want to have to use them constantly. We need a little bit of a break from them. No, stop it, stop it. Come on, guys. What are you doing? But yeah, I'm definitely curious to hear from you guys what you think about the Black Ops Cold War teaser trailer so far and what you would like to see for the game. Because, you know, I mean, as far as it goes for camping and stuff, that's a little biased. You know, that's just my play style. I like to rush around like a headless chicken and just have fun, not really care too much. Go for quad feats and such. Stop it. Come on. Why are you even trying? But you know, I'm kind of curious to know if anyone actually really likes the camping in Modern Warfare. But objectively speaking, it would be a good move to get theater mode, field of view slider on console, all those kinds of things. It's only going to improve the game. What's going to be really interesting about Black Ops Cold War as well is that it's going to be the first Call of Duty game on next gen for the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. That should definitely open up some possibilities for expansion and improvement. <laughs> I almost had that. Are you kidding me? Who's using the shotgun attachment on the roof? Oh, you think you're gonna get this? Nope, I don't think so. Oh, come on. There's so many snipers watching this thing. It's gross. All using shotgun barrels on the FAMAS too. These COD players always using their crutches, always needing something broken in the game. Overpowered. Look at that. He's obviously trying to cheese me with a shotgun attachment. Well, I say no. I don't play that way. Did we just lose first place? Because that, no, we actually won. Okay, not bad. We got Jade status. We were able to get into the room. Not bad. Played that game totally legit too. 13 kills. Not a bad match. Not a bad match at all. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me react to the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War teaser trailer. If you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited for the full reveal, of Black Ops Cold War on August 26th in the live event on Warzone. Make sure to drop a like. See you guys later. Ah!